meant a lot. Alright, we are alive! God help us. Alright, so I've deleted the previous recording, uh, because that was not fit for the public. Um, I can't believe, Kaleem, I can't anyway. believe Kaleem said that about Gaza and the Israel conflict, but... Oi! You know. <laughs> Personally, Kaleem, I disagree with those views, however, you do you in your spare time, and where you send your financial aid is entirely up to you. I mean, however... You gotta remember, they're people too, Kaleem. Like, Christ. Kaleem, I can't believe you said that those children deserve it, like, come on, man. Oh. It's weird, I mean, we're talking about one hospital, and Kaleem just takes it so far in a different direction. Like, it's... <laughs> I mentioned one tied up child and Kaleem. I was just one time, there's just one tied up innocent child and Kaleem was like, Oh my god, it reminds me of home! Support for the Kremlin in Ukraine. Um... <laughs> this was after what? Kaleem sang the Soviet national anthem. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> With one arm hiding in the air. Kaleem sang the, Kaleem, the, the, Kaleem, the, the Soviet national anthem with one arm hiling in the air, but you guys couldn't see that because thank fuck his camera's not we on have the stream. We removed that evidence from the internet, so we have saved Killeen. Uh, Killeen will be thankful. Uh, however, you have removed me, it's my turn. So you <laughs> Anyway, speaking <laughs> of Josh. <laughs> no need to do the intro, fuck it. We return once again to the world of mist. We're in an underground bunker. Josh, you have entered into another church, underneath where the previous combat took place. This waterlogged, flooded little chapel has at the back of it a statue of an elegant woman sat upon the crystal throne, the very same one that you know lies in Salspire. Chained up at the feet of this statue was a dog and an elderly, disgusting creature of a woman. Um, with long sort I would of... like to ungagger the hagger. Yes, no, we'll get there. Um, long sort of fingers, each about 30 centimetres long, um, covered in sort of feces and blood and other bodily fluids that are not safe for YouTube. Um, next to her is the dead body of a young boy who appears to have had his throat ritually cut. And further up in sort of a more open space where the corpse can fit is a giant frost lion, uh, also dead. Uh, you ungag the uh, the the woman. I believe. Josh. Yeah, I can hear you. I put you on speaker. Yeah, no, it was more. I say you ungag the the. Um. Oh, and uh, uh, the other thing of plot import that happened was Charles's character grabbed Credence's book, and now bad uh, things are happening. Okay. Oh, what happened there? You don't know. All we know is the book started bleeding and the children started screaming. Oh well, right that that part. I thought yeah. there was additional bad. Oh no, no, just. just I, bad I thought we were moving. I thought we were moving on for Kaleem and Gaza. Um. <laughs> so, I just was simply ask you, why are you down? What like what are you? Why are you specific? Like that makes sense. Why yeah. you? Because she looks very... The head, <clears throat> like the body stays hunched and slumped over, and with the... <coughs> of, like, the neck bones breaking, her head is, like, looking and facing the floor, and, like, an owl rotates 180 degrees to look up at you, the skin of her neck twisting and breaking until it tears, and then her oh, mouth that... opens, and, like, a spittled tongue comes out. She goes, Well, why not me? She sort of whiplashes Tight. her head background straight, and then starting from the shoulders, sort of like ascends in that awful, like, Sadako broken style. And you realize her fingers, as she stands up, they get longer. So She's still restrained. Uh, oh, I thought you were. Uh, okay, so no, she doesn't stand I, up. I was going to ungag her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, she's still uh, restrained then. She's sort of. But she's still done the head turn and the. Yeah, she's done the freaky shit. She okay, goes, well then that comes up like, well that's why you... I thought you were fucking normal. Well, so you don't break more limbs scaring the shit out of me, I'm just gonna very simply, un like, start to break the, the things, just... As you do, like, as I say, as she does this awful bone-breaking ascent to <clears> her feet, 
you notice her feet actually hover a little bit off the ground, and she is in fact, as she stands, her fingers which were touching the floor extend to about two meters, and she actually scuttles around on her fingers like a weird, demented hobo spider. And she sort of lifts on her fingers, her head twists and look up at you, the eye that's pus field focus on you. The other one continues just to spin in her head. <laughs> oh, you won't believe the crack in my bone. No, I probably won't. She pukes in her mouth a little bit and then just like smears it on her face. Ah, oh, that's better. It's cold. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I'm gonna just I'm just free the dog and throw in some rations. The dog immediately jumps at you and starts licking your face. I... I'm just, I'm just, gonna, just, I'm just gonna drop him some rations. And that way immediately he's, uh, distra act, like sits at your feet and starts scoffing the rations yeah. down. Just, just, just want him kind of distracted while I finish the conversation with the. Yep. No, both. Uh... Being the, the, the thing. We'll go with the thing. The. Uh... The, the thing scuttles over towards the body of the boy, sort of leans down. Shame about this one. He tried to fight, but he's not his sister. Let me uh, help me get them out of here. And she sort of puts her fingers through between his shoulder blades and starts dragging the body across the floor, leaving a smear of blood. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just not going to question it. <laughs> um, Would it be worthwhile to bring the biggest, biased cops? You can cool down anyone. Probably not, but you can cool down here anyone you... Um, the dog finishes well, eating could... the rations and starts, like, snuffling around at the ground. <laughs> so some, something in the ground. The elderly witch continues to drag the body behind her. Your name, boy. To me. Mm-hmm. Lee. Lee. Lee Smith. Lee Mulligan. That one, you spot on. I was such a lover, sir. <laughs> I was such a big man. <laughs> um, no, she's sort of. It's her name. One of your importance. Hey. Interesting. And she hacks up a bit of blood that sort of spittles onto the ground, ju uh, jumps down into this like jacuzzi center bit here, and just sort of lets the body of the boy just float to the bottom. Bye bye. Wait. Bodies don't sink, bodies float. True. Why is the body sinking? He sort of looks up. I don't know. It's drugged. It could be drugged, at least not. And she looks you straight oh. in the eye, and her split tongue like licks the vomit off her face. Lovely. Good for you. Um. If they've stuffed the corpses, they might have stuffed the other one. I want to rip open the bull corpse. Uh, make a... How do you want to cut it open? Just like with a weapon? Yeah, with my hand axe. Okay, make an attack roll. Ooh, do I use my hand axe or my great axe? Cool. Your great axe, of course. <laughs> fucking grim grin is so disturbing. <laughs> fireball. I don't have fireball. Counterspell at the ninth level. <laughs> no, fuck, okay, fire. Uh, normal or advantage because yeah, uh, it's dead. Yeah, advantage. Yeah, it's just to see if you do hit if you break it. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, I think I hit. <laughs> um, you um, swing the axe and to, like cut the the um frost line from sternum to chest, and uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as uh, carcass worms spill out. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, the good. See. <laughs> you see, the thing is, I don't exactly mind if I fail this because it's a con save for them to get me anyway, and I'm good at con. 
Is it a con? If there was a con save for a thing, oh. get inside of me. Oh, I thought it was it's a con and I got mercs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a con, it's to, con get to get in me. Con yeah. to get in, intelligence to take over. Yeah. But that I'm good at, so yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, what do you get? 13. 13's fine. As you sort of jump back, a series of small carcass worms fill, like, swarm out of the uh, creature. However, from what you can see, they're not very active. The old what, woman like comes them? and stands up next to you. <laughs> Sleep a little. Oh my gosh, she's got neon. <laughs> nice. What for you? you dildo if you're brave enough. <laughs> oh. Before you throw up on the floor again, I never got your name. Holy coin. The first one. The first one. It is complicated, child. Right, make an insight check. Da, 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 da. What we got? Seventeen. Uh, she is completely insane. Like completely <laughs> insane. You look in her eyes as best so, you can, and it's just complete insanity. Well, I have a sanity of negative one, so I've got a suspicious feeling she has a sanity of. Negative five? Uh, well, in game mechanics, her sanity is actually quite good. <laughs> um, but um, it's more that represents, you know, yeah, you yeah. can't take over a brain that's completely fractured and broken, essentially. <laughs> she sort of starts picking up the carcass worms. Slapped you with one. Oh, it throws them at the ground and little splashes in the puddles. I need time to gestate. <sighs> sure. I want to go see if the dog has a collar on it. Uh, you look, the dog has no collar on it. It looks to have been Fuck like... Fucker, mine it, now, fucker! <laughs> <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like the dog was potentially like a stray puppy that got just kidnapped and Fuck was off. going to be used as a, um, a cocoon. A carcass one. Is there a way to check the dog for worms? Uh, yeah, just make a uh, animal handling check. Twelve. Twelve. Um, as far as you can tell, Doggo has no worms. Maybe the usual dog worms, but not uh, carcass worms. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Same, with, mine, same with Grim Grim. It looks like they were only in the dead ones. Uh, oh! If Doggo mine, can I rename Doggo? If you wish, he's just currently called a boy. Uh -huh. okay, make well, make me that. an animal handling check. With advantage, Doggo. because you've been nice to Doggo. him and gave him food. <laughs> so the, 20, the dog looks at you, <laughs> and there is such a fierce loyalty in this dog's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a doggo. As you um, sort of kneel down, you look for a collar, it just licks your face. And yeah, uh, as you sort of turn cookie. and move back towards Grim Grin, it follows behind you, looking up at you like... Well, I've got a doggo. Uh, what would you Sweet. like to name your dog? Uh, I'll set it. Can I set it? Do I have high permissions? Thievery. It may have made you the owner of it. <laughs> <laughs> no! This was never planned! <laughs> uh, what's everyone else I've doing while it. Lee is down here? Back in the temple, what's everyone else up to? Good I'm gonna question. ask Dusky if he can... Let's go and identify. Mm, does Dusky know identify? <laughs> Faye, could you do an identify on this amulet? That burnt sure, our friend orc? Sure, why not? Thank you. Okay, you wanna cast it? Uh, yeah. Uh, Roll away. Let me just go on to my goddamn... Is she them on the map? Is it saved? I can't tell if it's Was that YouTube in the back? <laughs> Charles, what are you watching? Something good. Charles! I'm, I'm here, I'm here, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> just say, was that anime? I'm just checking no, if the name's safe. You can ignore this. It was hentai. It was not. Not no, the name was safe. Damn shame. Share with the team next time. Well, the no, well, team it was a woman that got very excited to pop a spot on someone she saw. Uh, grim. Yeah, Grim. Yeah, Cass didn't identify. Okay. And no one does? Nope. Very good. Um, as you sort of hold the out, uh, Dusky, your um, what's your alignment? Pretty neutral. Say again. Pretty neutral. Pretty neutral. Uh, so please take this amount of damage. Oh, lovely. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's the <laughs> talk. Oh wait, one, uh, one person. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a dog and I took damage. Great. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I not 20, don't you wat wat me. <laughs> there you go. That's about that. Moving. Where was the moving? Stop it. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Is it reasonable? Because it's trying to get everyone in view. That's so funny. Um, so, Dusky, as you sort of hold this amulet in your hands, it burns your hands, so you quickly put it down on one of the pews. You're closing your eyes and entering into the dreamscape. Once again. You uh, find yourself in that library of various uh, r r rooms, and looking around, you don't think you see a skinned kobold waiting for you. Yeah. But as you awaken back up, you sort of open your eyes and breathe slow. This is an amulet of pure good. Oh. No wonder it hurt me. Only can be wielded by someone who is of the pure good alignment. Which I don't think is anyone in here. Except for me, I'm lawful good. Our dog could be. Um, um you can use if you are a cleric or a paladin, you can use it as your holy symbol and gain plus two to your spells and attack rolls. It has seven charges, and if you wield it. You can use an action to expend a charge and choose one creature within 120 feet of you. If it is of the evil alignment, a flaming fissure opens, but basically you banish bitches to hell. That's fair. Um, I'm going to hold on to that. It does not work then. on flying creatures. No, that's fair. I'm grounded. I'm going to look at Faye. Um, no ground. Faye, did you find anything useful about this? Well, it's an amulet of true good, and I'm just gonna repeat everything that Bob just said. Yep. Um, there's a little bit. Hold mind. I'm gonna as hold. As you hold it, Kaleem, as you take it off of Faye, you close your eyes, and you're a psychic. That's your whole thing, right? Yeah. You see yeah. flashes of dragons, five Jeez. of them, and a farm, and then they're gone. I don't know what this is, but I like it. I'm gonna hold on to this. You do that, buddy. I'm gonna. Um, I'm just, you, I'm have just you got just anything to trade, and... trade, by the way? Bo -bo -bo huh? huh? Yeah, trade. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. But have you got anything for trade? Seeing as I gave you the amulet. I got nothing of worth to trade for an amulet like this, but. You have the Sinister's amulet. Technically, my character does, but, but I'm giving I it you do after have an anyway. idea. If we find someone of an evil alignment, we can use this to brand them. To brand them? It does any damage to evil things, or those are not pure good alignment. Mm. Be fun. Fair enough. Oh, I mean, you know. My character's more into killing than just inflicting pain. He's not a sadist. No, that's understandable. I don't really have anything to trade. This amulet can be useful. You take your hat, then. You know what? That's a fair deal. Here's my hat. Orok gains a fancy top hat. Very good. I get another fancy top hat. <laughs> can we just bring out like a pop-up? Is it one? fancier than the first? <laughs> Slightly taller. I want, yes. I want your fancy. No, it just turns out. No, I want the fancy. You know, what, one. You know uh, out of my bag of holding, I bring out this like very stylish, like cowboy hat, very desperado oh. kind of style. I got 
Here's my lucky hat. Just hold up. Since when the fuck did we have a bag of holding in the party? I uh, just since it was yeah. stolen off of Tulia. And it's like a really I mean... good thing. It was fisted. It's it was great. <laughs> I can now put my extra hat in this one. But I'll give it to you. And now I have a nice police hat. And you have a nice police hat as well. My deputy of brutalizing. Did I just get called a deputy? I immediately shit in the hat he gave me. <laughs> Mola Conso. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I gave him the unlucky one. <laughs> I see my advantage. Call advantage. What's the result? What have we got? 19. 19. <laughs> Unfortunately, rolling high is bad for this because as you hold Kaleem's hat to your ass and clench, unfortunately, you're on a really high fiber diet right now and you're straining and straining. And you hear in your ear, Charles, you hear your patron, yes, let the blood flow. Yeah. Um, why you, you have fun with the spare hat? I'm gonna go. No shit. I'm gonna find Lee. Just a hemorrhoid pops. I'm gonna find Lee. <laughs> Don't you shout, Lee. Lee is still Lee is still downstairs. You can fuck right off. Find the witch and then offer her this smeared hat to her as a gift. <laughs> oh, Clem, I've added the amulet of the sinister tea, by the way. You still need to attune to it. Uh, that's fair. I'm, I'm going to do that interaction with Josh for that. Don't well, worry. Oh, yeah. Well, Josh is currently downstairs. Who's going downstairs to go find Josh? Uh, I will. I, I was going to... I was going to still talk to Grim Grim. Oh, yeah, yeah, So everyone's going downstairs. Yeah. So you can hear them yeah. coming, yeah. but there's a bit of time before they arrive. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, question. Uh, can, okay. I, can I desecrate I... the upper part of the church first, please? You can just run around smashing shit up if you want, yeah. No, like, deconsecrate it for my patron, you know. Roll. I want to make it like a commune check. Guys, um... I figured out why we didn't get an email. Oh? Because everyone has ship internationally turned off. Well, none of us are willing to send to Robbie. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, well, wait, what, was I the one who turned that on? No, 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 no. So I thought I turned it on. It turns out that I'd actually toggled it off by accident. Um, so just really quickly go ahead. Anyhow. Um, um, so yeah, I, I figured out the issue. We can, sort it. We, we, we can sort it later. But... Secret Santa notwithstanding. Um, Charles, just roll me a perception check to like commune with your patron. Perception, not wisdom. Either or, I'll make it your call. Uh... Yeah. You sort of start to destroy the church, start to look for a way to sanctify this place in the name of murder. But then you just concentrate. Your patron is distracted like there's a bigger prize near it's the same feeling you got back when you first met these people in that temple mm. where you you know you 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 did the um previous sacrilege this isn't the place but somewhere nearby is do i get a sense of how nearby uh I'm you're on top there. of it you get the sense of Can I being... smash through the floor to fall through the ceiling like a bat? No, let's not do that. I go <laughs> you to can. the stair. <laughs> okay. No, I just smash a hole in the wall, stick my head through and go, Hello! <laughs> well, before we do that, um, <laughs> Josh, back with you. What were we saying to Grim Grim? Um, last I saw her, she was doing the, the slumux sluggy, right? She's like, she's vibing with the slugs. I mean, she's just sort of right. slapping them around, kind of like Gollum with a fish. Just oh, having Jesus, a great time. It. Just sort of slapping them around. <laughs> she sort of turns and looks back up at you. Yeah, funny how in there, floppy. <laughs> Do you want anything? Do you want to find anything with them? It's <laughs> taken Searching for something else. Not here. 
not here. No, not here. No. Not here. Not here, not here. She's not here. It's not here. Want. Who is it you want? Make a persuasion check. Can I make an intimidation check? If you make it intimidating. I said no, it would be persuasion. I just helped her. Um. <laughs> That's Tim? Got to be kidding me on these nat 20s. I was going to kill himself. You say, who are you looking for? She twists her head all the way back, and like hands going back over her shoulders, and sort of upside down looks at you. Yeah, I am looking for a successor. She still wants Cersei. Bitch. Yeah. Free, but be free. Oh. It's me. Okay, so she's looking for. He doesn't know. No, me, but she's looking for Cersei still. Well, at least this one is, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, hold up. This one. Yeah, that's what I think it was. Twists her head back towards you. If free. There's three grim grins and three of them. Okay. Me. She slowly okay. crawls up on top of Lee, like climbing onto him. Yeah. Uh, she is going to cast Hold Person. Bitch. That's my spell. <laughs> but does she have Hold Person? She should. A disguise. So she's she's a druid cleric. This one. She's not the most help. Um. Lose person. person. What level spells hold person? Second. Oh, hang on. I was looking at first. Uh. Once ability, gust of wind, healing spirit, hold person. There we go. Why is it not? Look on the wisdom save. So it should. There it is. <clears throat> oh, for goodness. <laughs> you feel like these tendons in your body start to stiffen, start to strict until you can't breathe and then there's this cackle, this crack and golden energy fills you time realigns itself and you are not restrained at all she steps back and <laughs> <laughs> And is like genuinely concerned. That was fucked up. You shouldn't have saved that. Bob's not intend for this to happen. <laughs> no, it's more Lee. Yeah, she's not seen anything like that before. What are you doing, Josh? Before you try and restrain me, do remember that before I came and freed you, you were the one restrained. Physically, perhaps. I was just interested to see what would happen if they pepped me for the slugs. <laughs> um, she then proceeds to rip her own face open, uh, grabs her top and lower half of her jaws, and is going to break her face over her shoulders and cast Dimension Door out of her. Hmm. And know. she's just gonna up and leave. Unless you have anything to stop her or last no. whips to I say. wouldn't try. I wouldn't try. There's just this smouldering smell of fetid flesh and saggy sort of blood and pieces that she just does. And as she does, the rest of the party enter into the underground chapel. You oh, does it smell like shit and gum? It does smell like because shit and gum. So won't be having fun down here without me. No. No one's having fun anymore. Anymore? 
Oh, fuck, slugs. They're fine. They're already dead. Alright, I'm gonna let you guys take over for a little bit. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna put up a healing spirit in the middle of the room for if anybody wants to heal up. <laughs> okay. Just cast it away sure. and put the template down. Yeah, I sh sure as hell know what I want to. <laughs> dog's still unconscious, apparently. Our dog sort of enters into the room, sees the other dog, and immediately they, like, leap into the middle and start sniffing butts. <laughs> like, <laughs> chasing each other around, like... Is Lucian's body, like, gone, gone, or could we still get it? Say again? Lucian's body's gone, gone, right? Full no, of the it's slugs, at the it's bottom so... of this, like, jacuzzi in the centre. You know, it's like a little hot plate. Okay. Whole place is flooded, but this place looks like it was originally meant to have water at the bottom of it. I just realised that I've, they've walked in and I'm holding a bloodied axe with slugs all over the floor and are decapitated. You know what? I'm just going to put the axe just back on my back. Just be like, <laughs> just like, just, just, yeah, just, just put the axe away. Just... As they're <laughs> our dog and bug that they just start running each other around the room. Like, they're just playing. Yeah. I respect it. <laughs> what are we doing, team? Well, I want to I want to use up my full healing spirit, and after it's done, I want to start exploring the room. Well, depending on what you guys do, it might not go to its full length, but we'll work it out when that happens. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> is this really the other healing. one? This is the other one that you told me about, in it? I just thought this still the same one. What's this? Uh, let me just do this. Oh no, that's the wrong, that's the wrong button. Oh no, that led to here. Okay, right. That led that's to fine. <laughs> um, Lee. Mm-hmm. What happened? Honestly? Get back to me on that one. I'm still figuring it out. Um, can I do an investigation of the room? Sure. Roll investigation for me. So I can actually understand what the fuck is happening. Yes! It's a 30! DC 30. Sorry, DC 28, but you rolled a 30. Brain fart. Um, mm -hmm. As you guys are investigating the room, uh, I'm going to say it took three rounds for you to find this, because you're sort of searching the room. So, Wobby, if you want to roll three rounds worth of healing and apply it to uh, anyone who wants. Alright, so we'll just D6, right? Yeah, D6. Yeah, plus the initial seven, which should have applied to you. So, wait, how many is that? Oh, no. Ah. Ah. So, wait you, said, wait, you said three rounds, right? Yeah, three rounds worth of healing. So that'd be 9d6. 3d6. It's only yeah. a d6 per round, I think. Yeah, it is. It's initial 3d6 and then an extra d6 each round. Uh, but it is plus your modifier, which is a... Plus 5. Plus five so 15. So 25 hit points, everyone. Chalk them up. That's in uh, that was inside the AOE, not just everyone. I'm just assuming it's around. There's oh, okay. this beautiful yeah. starlight filling the room. Okay. Sort of, you know. Let me just, really, just, let me just, yeah, let me just add 25 hit. Oh, wait. Sorry. Um, I mean, let as me... everyone is moving around and healing, um, there's the body of this young boy that's sunk to the bottom of the room. There's the body of this frost lion. No blood, except you sort of see the grooves where blood should have flown, and you watch it and you follow it, and you pause. And you listen. One of the best skills you had in Greymill was the ability to listen. In a city that is, you know, ridiculously huge like Greymill is, being able to distinguish sounds from one another is genuinely quite an incredible skill. And so sort of looking around this room, waterlogged, flooded, but you can hear dripping running water. And it's coming from the statue at the top of the room. The one of this woman in the throat. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna just give myself a second win before anything else. Oh, there you go, you saw. Breathe. <laughs> hmm. It's saying that. What is second? Well, what is second win ability again? Bonus action. It's a bonus action. No, it's a one D. Might have used it already, but you haven't. Charles. Had oh yes, I have. Char Charles, you still need to heal yourself. Say again? You still have to heal yourself. Alright, yes. What's yeah, Auroch doing, Charles? While Kaleem finds second wind? Don't worry, I've already used it. Okay, cool. What's Auroch doing, just, Charles? Uh, uh, so it's 3d6, yeah? Yep. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's 25. 25. 25. Yeah, it's already been rolled. Oh, I, I've already been healed, have I? No, no, you need to no, apply no, no. 25 points of healing to yourself. Oh, I'm with you now. You're good, you. you're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, approaches the um, the big old beautiful chunk of Ethereum, is it? Uh, harmonium, the, the statue. Harmonium, sorry, my bad. A harmonium. And I whisper to myself, is that what you were talking about, Master? A spectral white, out like huge figure with like strings wrapping around Orok's arms is in the corner of your eye for a second. Within. 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 Kali, what are you doing? I'm going to move okay. slowly over to the statue. Lee, give me a hand. There's something... I go to twat it. Oh, oh God, I'll help. Uh, let them resolve first, child, and then if it doesn't work... <laughs> <laughs> um, can I do an investigation of the statue? Yeah, like, I wouldn't do, do uh, Gizmo. Can I before do a history check? Sure, absolutely, please. Please yeah. give me some time to talk about nerdy lore. I finally got a bad roll. It took fucking long enough. On a ten, elegant lady, half elf and half tiefling. Oh, you know she's someone really important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm for, honestly, after the after getting two nat twenties in a row, that's kind yeah. of deserved. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you you know she's someone ridiculously important, but you can't remember who. Oh, um, nineteen. 19. Um, you sort of search around the statue, clean. The water is dripping beneath it into like a basin underneath. Um, but without removing the statue, you won't be able to see what's underneath. But as you look up, something catches your eye. Now, the statue is made of harmonium, which is already a psi reactive material. Dream reactive material, somni reactive. Yeah. But inside the statue, you can see something else, like a hunk of obsidian. Also, oh. for someone, just <laughs> make me a history check, Kelly. <laughs> oh, no. Can this be an Omdalian law or history? Oh, the history is just because I want someone to recognise the statue. But... Oh, fair enough, man. I do the history. <laughs> oh, you also have no idea who this is. <laughs> None of you know who this is. <laughs> I'm I'm going to have a look at Uruk. Uruk? If I spam it until I get in that 20. <clears throat> hey, you hey. look at this statue. Crap. Half tiefling, half elven. Sat upon the crystal throne? This statue, Fay. It's you. This has come from the future. You are Can destined someone... to sit upon the crystal throne of Gallant. Can someone roll for Storm? Because Robbie's gone pit. Hey, I'm, I'm back. Uh, well, Robbie, roll the history check. As All Faye right. stands next to you, going, It all makes sense. I have one purpose to rule. Oh my god! Oh, Can... you all failed a DC 15 history check. <laughs> Does Faye but... wish to bend luck? I thought that might be there. Okay, who's, who's really you bending luck for? And I'll rephrase that. Who has the most additions to their history? Well, it's more, you only need a 15. It's plus well, one to start storm, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. You sort of listen to Faye going, It's I could do this. I can rule. And you go, oh, she said the same thing. And you remember a few history lessons with Malk about people he was friends with. Um, this is specifically the Empress Nox of the Asolian Empire. 
one of the most bountiful and beloved monarchs to have ever lived. I, I gathered from the map name, but you know, we... oh, yeah, I forget you. Characters guys can't. I forget you guys get to see the maps, uh, but yes, characters can't see the map name. But <laughs> uh, the Gulf of Knox, for example, is named in her honor, and it was only after her descendants started fucking everything up that the Asolian Empire fell. This is a statue in her honor. Uh, um, I looked Lee and Orc. Orc, Lee, there's something obsidian in this statue. And this is a very important statue from the looks of it. Maybe we should just let. Uh, you know what? Orc is on I already. Orc, I can literally see you, like, frothing at the mouth. <laughs> go, on, go ahead. I'm going to walk. Give me a second. I'm going to walk back. Right, we're, we're breaking this. I, I can already see the look on Orc's face. Uh, hey, Orc, do you want a hand? Well, I'm gonna take. Up? I'm gonna get all the way back here. My well, hand. Char is Charles with us? Charlie. I'm here. Oh yeah, sorry. There he is. People are chatting to you, man. Charles, I saw. I see the froth. The frothing ambition in your eye. Sorry. So. I was, Go ahead. I was dealing with the message. No worries. Yeah. Essentially, they're giving you consent to smash the shit out of the statue. And I'm you. asking if you want a hand. Um, How about you whack it first, and if that doesn't crack it, I'll do, take a whack at it. <laughs> uh, what should I target with the axe? Or rock. Uh, it just honestly, make me an yeah, athletic check. Just to the uh, monument and says, Be my guest. Uh, what we got? 27. Lee steps forwards and just with his knuckles punches into the harmonium. Flashes go through your brain. A white-limbed, long, lanky demon wielding a sword sitting upon a throne of bones. Uh, you see the gloat mother at its feet being ripped apart. You see... Um, Faces of a blonde woman in winter, and is that one of the gods? God of perfection, it looks like Draco Malfoy. You see dreams of owl feathers and portals. You see the dreams of the people around you, essentially. And as you do, you crack this statue, because you're touching harmonium. It's like fossilized dreams and death. Um, and you see where it cracks, greenish energy starts to seep through. Okay. It'd be a bad idea to hold the greenish energy. <laughs> you don't know, you can try. Yeah, I think I'll avoid that for now. <laughs> I'm the is this the same is it, what what state is the like is it liquid or is it gas? The Or is it vibing in the sky? The greenish energy. The green energy. Yeah. It looks like a gas at first until it starts to drip it's okay. like floating it's like oil if it was moving on the plane of reality like on you know it doesn't quite fit with the rest of the world it kind of like is one of those floaters you get in your eye like it's imprinted on top of what you're looking at we describe it as oil in zero g yeah you've seen it before at Chateau. Oh, wait, is it a mortis cloud? Oh, I thought you were going to say it was mortis cloud. No, it's not an mortis cloud, which is a very physical thing. You've seen this before at Chateau Ufgar. Is this the stuff in the temple? Mm hmm. Before um, Hamath showed up. It's bleeding out of whatever's inside this statue. Do we need to break the statue to get it? Most likely. Okay, right, I'll punch it again. Oroch says oh, wow. We'll let Oroch uh, have his go. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go on this side so you can... So it's like... Thematic. What are you doing, Charles? Why are you following me though? I was getting <laughs> it so there's like one on either side. Because then it's like... Look at you're... the two beefy boys. I'd like to watch... <laughs> okay, just roll me an athletics check. Imagine not having 20 strength. 
But it's the whole thing with Lee, is Lee's not beefy. He's like stick thin, just completely imputable. Oh dear. You oh, swing darn. the hammer into the statue, it cracks open. And you see inside there is this obsidian like stone inside the statue. Um, because of a nat one, I'm going to skip the formalities, and it starts to make an insight check for me, Styles. Charles. Okay. On the stone inside the statue, which right now you guys can't actually hit. But you can't access the stone. You've just managed to open up enough to see it. Greenish runes start to appear. Like writing scratched into the stonework. The stone physically shudders. And starts to sweat. On an insight check, Charles. You just woke it up. Uh -oh. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Uh -oh. And because of the net one, you've got to destroy the statue before you can hurt the, stern, the stone. Uh, I'm adding you all into an initiative. Um, I'm also going to say, for the sake of its survival, the dog runs out the room. The, the, dog, the dog leaves. The dog runs out the room. My dog has already abandoned me. <laughs> no, no, it looks at you and you sort of nod. The dog nods. Yeah, yeah. And there's an unspoken understanding of, oh, God, go to hell. <laughs> Owl dog stays like a fucking champ. <laughs> Owl dog is. Owl dog. Owl dog can be resummoned. Owl dog is so used to being killed. Why is? It's an average Monday. It's the fifth time today. Where's Faye? There we go. Roll your initiatives, dickheads. I'm rolling for Owl dog and rolling for storm. So. Both for all terribly. <laughs> um. Yeah, you guys are gonna need to break the uh, casing before you can even hurt what's inside it, but it won't oh, My on that god, one, I'm not- up. I'm not bottoming initiative for the first time this campaign. So, you all hear this- see this green energy now beginning to emit from this, um, statue? And pulsating from within, you hear this thrumming noise. Um, who here, and I hope none of you, for your own sanity, speaks primordial? Uh, let me check. Don't. Oh, dear. Oh, I've got Thieves' Can, Inferno, and <laughs> Yeah, Com it's in Thieves' Can. It's a Cockney rhyming slang. Uh, it's ah! a calm and let's go. Ah! <laughs> no, none of us do. No one's got Primordial. Thank God for that. None of you need to make Wisdom saving throws, and, or sorry, Sanity saving throws and lose death saves then. Because as the words in a language you do not understand reach you, you are being spoken to by the Lurker Beyond. Oh. And that is enough to kill you, just to hear his voice. The smell of rot and seaweed fills the room. Decay and horrific, like, stench. Rat roll. Rat uh, right. Kicking us off an initiative. Killeen, the statue's evil. Uh, okay. Okay, um. Uh. Bang! What are you gonna do? Ah, yeah, it's bang. I'm gonna shoot gun. Sorry, child. I'm gonna shoot the gun at the statue, but I can't target the statue, so I have to Let's Just, just roll me a ranged attack and reduce the ammo from your gun for me. It's gotta be done a little higgity piggity, this. It's a. Sorry, child. <laughs> Uh, what thing's AC? Uh, well, you that certainly hits. Oh god, you're shooting at Lucy and you didn't need to oh, roll no, it I, automatically. I, I, 24 yeah. does thankfully hit. I was gonna say, if, <laughs> if you want, child. just set, just set Lucian's AC to the thing's AC and we'll just beat the shit out of Lucian. 24 does thankfully hit the statue and detonates the statue in shards of harmonium. Flashes hit all of you of your dreams. The things you see in the night, monsters, creatures, parents, loved ones lost to war, all these things. Killeen, you see a shadowy figure, always two feet behind you, waiting for the next 
the harmonium okay. disintegrates in the air and floating in its place. If I could uh, just knock Charles back so that he doesn't get crushed by it. Oh. Oh, no, it's the breed one that I'm going to this. Floating in its place is this huge chunk of obsidian stone engraved with runes. Engraved with runes and twisting, orbiting on its axis. It is pulsating with this green energy, and you can see that where it cracks, creatures are trying to get into reality. I'm, I'm going to move this side and take my second shot at the... Um, at uh, you the... can't change targets, it's part of the same attack action. Oh, fuck. Um... Yeah, we've we'll explained that a few times. Yeah, that's a, Unless I'm it's gonna... a bonus action, no can do. Would it be the same um, target? I'm gonna use my bonus. No. I'm gonna use my no, bonus action. Things. Use my bonus oh. action to use um hide. I'm gonna hide. Okay. Uh, roll a stealth check for me. That yeah. one's <laughs> nice. Uh, so you sort of duck behind the statue, start. He's not rolled it yet. He's not rolled it. He's not rolled it. He's not rolled it. It doesn't. Um, you duck. Twenty nine. <laughs> you duck. <laughs> that's like obviously don't matter. <laughs> duck behind the cat statue, lo reloading the bullet into the muzzle. Find the Geomancer chamber, flood with lightning, getting everything ready. Uh, over to Orok. Big rock, Orok. Big rock. Okay. Okay. Big okay. cock. Um, big cock. Big ball. Um, so there's no chance of me trying to corrupt this for my patron. I'm, we're probably just going to have to break it first. This, your patron's whispering in your ear. It's not bleed. It is a worthy kill. Sold. <laughs> right, okay. Um, which case then, I will cast Booming Blade. Okay. And I will throw my hammer at it. Okay, going to go for the throw. Very good. Yes. Ow. I don't know how to do the throwing attack, though, from here. Um, it should just be like any other attack. You just target it and click the hammer. It has the reach property, so it should be okay. No, it says it's uh, target is 10 feet away. Okay. Your range is only I'll five. just move you next to it, then, and then move you back. <laughs> there you go. Corrupted lodestone. Do the thing. It should do. It's just... Oh, God, no. Why? It will do it, man. It just takes a minute. <laughs> it's got, there's now, like, five hey, messages what? in the chat. Oh, God, let me delete <laughs> those. It should work. Why is it being a... I'll get the lodestone. Into combat. Raptorus normal. There you go. You just click... But how are you clicking it? Should have been fine. Either way, unfortunately, you missed. It. With the 18. So you the hammer strikes it and it hits it and it starts to charge up. At the Is that your turn, Charles? Um, I... I need to get rid of that. Also cast one. Spirit Shroud then, if it failed. Okay. Uh, do you want to do that yourself? Yes. Bonus action, I'd imagine. Go. Nice. nice. I'll add your uh, spirit shard back to you. Red swirling light once again envelops Oruk, blood seeping around him. You return the hammer to your hand and it cackles of energy. At the end of your turn, I'm going to use a legendary action. Uh, unleash pulse. Oh. Uh oh. Tell me you've missed using legendary actions without telling me you've missed using legendary actions. You guys actions. just haven't been worth fighting anything with legendary actions for a while. Alright. How long is already dead? <laughs> I'm dog. So it shudders and this woof wave of energy strikes out around the room. Green fire ripples through the fractured lines of reality. Our dog is completely disintegrated. With no chance. Jesus. 
and cannot be I resurrected. Sh- I have no rights to be alive. What? This has the same effect of the disintegrate spell. Revivify cannot bring them back. Yeah, but so long it can be resummoned. Yeah, I know, but I'm warning for you guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, that is their turn, which brings us to Josh. Oh, sorry, that's a right. legendary action. Okay. Got no else to do? Bonk! <laughs> Bonk did not work. A 9 DC 20. No. Right, I'm guessing. Higher, higher. Okay, no, it's higher. I'm missing everything. It is a giant, fine. fully. It's just a giant right. brick. <laughs> AC represents how hard something is to hurt. Yeah. That's better. It hurts it itself it whenever it uses its ability. Good. That's something. Uh, and I get another one. I do get three attacks, right? Before I roll that, I'm double checking that I get three. Yeah, I get three. Oh, that's going to be <laughs> That's my third of the session. Fuck me. <laughs> Gladly. I've had, please do, I've had three nat 20s and at least four 19s. So What's Lee, gone you on? bring your axe and start hacking into the side and you're literally using an axe to chip at a stone. This is an obelisk. This is not a living what? creature. Well, I have nothing else I can do to it, so fuck <laughs> you. Uh, so that's what you gotta do. And as bonus action, I will equip the shield that will definitely help me with physical attacks that are definitely coming in this fight. Um, actually, question. Would a hammer be more useful against this thing? So far, no. <laughs> it's got a monster okay. stat block because that's how they work, but that's about it. <laughs> but I mean, like, what is just like an actual, just, just a default hammer? Would this hurt more? No, because no. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, we are treating it as a monster, but I have built its stats to represent the fact that okay. it's not a living, thinking thing. It cannot move. It can only yeah, affect that's what's what in I mean, its because... room. Uh, at the okay. end of your turn, it's going to use its second legendary action and unleash another pulse. Uh oh. Just want to know is that a spell or is that another spell? That's just it. This is what it does. It has a legendary action to release pulse and an action to release pulse. That's it. Oh yeah, in that twenty. This is all it does. You you guys are in a fight against time. Oh fuck! Well I'm done. I want I want HP. Whoop! Oh my god, you are. We're leave. <laughs> <laughs> what were these rolls on them? I want to know what the like. If you, okay. Uh... Wobby, we're over to you. It gets uh... all its legendary actions back. Uh, what? <laughs> it's legendary actions. It gets three of them, which it gets to use at the end of each of your turns. Ah, oh, shit. Um, well, I don't have much I can do. I mean, wait, that was not the one no. I wanted to do. Not die? That was die? Hey, what's up, I said, push! Yeah, Call the fuck down! Like you guys need to heal. We need yeah. to get out of here. I fucking know. <laughs> I mean, the door behind me isn't locked, right? No, no, you guys could just leave. If you want. As my plan. And the lodestone will stand. You seems a real <laughs> Oh, you could just walk out the fucking door. I mean, I reckon Lee, um, I reckon Lee could tank this himself. Just hey, um, <laughs> The utmost respect, okay, there is a door it. there. You could it's use storm, it. Storm, storm. And it is what we oh, I am doing shit. To, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to twin spell. I'm going to put down simple portals. Just for the people that, you know, don't feel like they can tank, you know, another little weak hit. Can okay, get the fuck out of here! Okay, where you are you put one near me. Where are we say, put one, one next to Colleen. Put one, I, one, I on do one, put ne- one on me. Let me leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put one next to Colleen. Oh, no, not again. Uh, so yeah, this is a simple 5x5 five five portal right by Hakim. Right underneath me, thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna put one uh, up by Lee and between uh, Ar- Arak if in case any of them feel like they just want to dip. I'm gonna put one portal right next to the door that we're standing by. Okay, you can put portals outside the room. The lodestone okay, can okay, only yeah, yeah, affect uh, this yeah. room. I oh yeah, outside out, outside the room. So you know yeah, that's what that portal will dip. represent then. And where's and the I'm last gonna... one going? Um, oh, wait, that, wait, that's free. 
Oh, I thought you had four. Sorry, yeah, no, you're good. No, no, yeah. I, I, I can max um, do three. And then, then I'm just fucking running out of the room. Cause and you that. just peg it, Storm is out of the fight. Fake. Wait, Wobby, Wobby, did you put one underneath me or beside me? I'm beside you. Alright. At the end of Wobby's turn... I mean, I could put it underneath you for one. Please, gonna, please. At the end of Wobby's turn, I'm going to use another legendary action. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I'm going to die. Oh, no. Yeah. Bam. Another oh. wave of energy floods out into the room. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce we have lost two party members. Potentially. <laughs> Bay and Kaleem and uh, Hakeem. The energy hits you. Your bones are disintegrated. Your flesh ripples out. You find yourselves in an oceanic world, stood together. You are in the realm of the Lurker. Um, and fun... potentially return. But you see... Fun fact. Go on. The Lodestone got a negative one on its own save. Oh yeah, the Lodestone, they, they, the Lodestone actively hurts itself whenever it uses that ability. Now, okay. you guys got very lucky. Because Storm put portals down. But... As you're looking for those portals, you can't see them. All around you are rotting leviathans. You see and look into the sky, and then you quickly blink and look down, because in the sky there is a crustacean, a lobster dripping with muscle and flesh that is decaying and rotting and clawing its way across the sky. You look, about 30 feet away from you, is another one of these fractured cracks in reality. The lodestone, through it, you can see Lee hacking with his axe. I need both okay. Faye and Hakeem to make me athletics checks to try and reach the portal. Can I do acrobatics? No, because you can't backflip over the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Faye. What's up? Damn them, money you rolled. I was about to give you a, a B help action. You can't, they have I'm to be Oh, Killeen, buddy. Oh, I fucking hate this. As oh, let's go. The DC? Uh, the DC was 15. Oh, Faye, if only I can get you stumble me. out of the lodestone into reality by Lee and Orok. Hakeem, you start to sink into the mud and the rotting fish. Wait, As can I... I can fly. You can Psy-Powered Leap, yeah. I'm going to do Psy-Powered Leap then. Reroll your, you... re your athletics check, I'll allow. Do it, do it, do Easy it. Easy 15, anything you can have, you can take. This is a... A portal is a portal. A, <laughs> I wish there was a Ben Luck right now. Just to forewarn you, if this fails, you are trapped within the realm of the Lurker. Oh, I don't like this. Ah. Uh. Hakeem is going to solo the entire realm of the Lurker. <laughs> Never mind, 18, he's going to just leave. You leap, reaching Fuck for the yeah. lodestone. You look right. around as you do. You see, Kaleem, there are other lodestones. One leads into a church where you see a red panda waving at you. <laughs> you see about seven, I think. Fractured breaks in reality. Yeah, seven. One, however, lies dull and inactive. One has your party currently fighting. And on an 18... Sorry, we're going to have to take go back here. On an 18, as you are leaping towards your party, a hand grabs yours and pulls you in close. A pair of wings wrap around you. And a Fargen whispers in your ear, Now is not the time, child. Run! And he pushes you through the portal, and the last thing you see is this ah. demigod in golden armor. Goes, sort of gives you a mock salute and goes, Save my wife. I'll be back soon. And goes back into the realm of the lurker. What's your wife called? Thirsty. I have a suspicious feeling you would know the wife of the well, no, I, I, I feel like I have a suspicious feeling that you would know the wife of the king. I don't! Of the I wouldn't! That you're 
Hakim and Faye fall through the lodestone. You guys have passed that one time. If you die again, it's permanent. That's uh, your one for chance. For everyone. Uh, so everyone, everyone, get everyone? everyone gets one chance to escape the okay. realm. And then if you if you get sucked in again, it's permanent. Um, can I use a dash bonus action? Uh, it is currently phase turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, Ray. Yeah, I'm teleporting me and killing out of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the lodestone counter spells. Um... No! Yeah, no, I'll, I'll just tell <laughs> no, He's already told you... us that the thing has one fucking spell. We're fine. As you guys, as you fall out, Hakeem, you turn and look back at the lodestone. You can't see that golden figure, but you do see the other six fractures in reality. But then Faye grabs you by the shoulder, you turn and look, and the two of you disintegrate into blue fire, and you dimension door out of there. Um, Bob, can I use my action um, to do a history check on the remembering where these locations are? Yeah, absolutely. Roll that for um, me. Can I use, do that as my action and bonus? Okay, cool. I'll give you advantage then. Uh, are there yeah, seven gosh. in general or seven others? Seven total, including this one. Um, it's all for advantage. So six others, seven total. Uh, 27. I will ping them on the map for you. No, ping, um, send them in message for me so I can buy them down. Um, well, again, I can't give you an exact location. Oh, oh right, right, right. But Fair you can guess rough. If you were to, like, look at a map, you could probably... Tr if, if the Lurker's Realm is one-for-one -one scale with Mensodum, you could work out where they possibly are. That's and I will do that for you if we get if you survive this. <laughs> I'm out. Of, I'm out of the combat. That's I'm out. That's true. You are. Uh, back into the combat then, Charles. We're over to you. It's just two big boys and a stuck and a rock. Um. Okay. Just, I just look at that Rick, big rock. What's up, Josh? I uh, just send Kareem a picture of the world map with the circles on it. Uh, I actually. The entirety of this campaign, I have had tokens on the world map for where certain things are. I will reveal them once you guys have found oh, okay. out what these are. <laughs> this is one of the few times where I'm like, my prep from like last year gets to kick in. So <laughs> I'm using it. What are you doing? Uh, okay, are you, are you use Hexblade's curse on all? Okay, on on the on the rock. Oh, no, if, you, if I don't respond to any of your questions, the signal keeps dropping out. That's so all right, don't stress it, mate. It. Do you want me to click stuff for you? Because your signal's buff. So, uh, Hexblade costs. Oh, ignore that. I need to get rid of something. It's not working. I'm, I'm having issues in the side. You think you just do it for us? Yep, so bonus action Hexblade curse, right? Boom, Hexblade curse is on there. So you and reach out I and your try. patron goes, What's up, baby? Hey. First sky! What are you doing, Charles? You could do your charger thing and yeet the stone. Bring it's just floating the weight of my patron upon this thing. De de delete. You could genuinely, Charles, you could dash action, get your single attack, do Great Weapon Master for the plus 30 damage, and um, you could throw it 50 yeah. feet. Do this. Right. So, bonus action dash, you charge into it. Now, if I remember all your ridiculous stats, it's a single attack, minus 5 to hit, but if you do hit... You get plus 30 to the damage because it's plus 10 for Great Weapon Master, plus 5 for Charger. Where did the other 15 come from? I'll double check. But first, oh, you see, you know, uh, 30 certainly hits, not a crit though. 24, and then your other formula kicks in. So that was uh, how much do you get for your Hex Blade Curse? Um, Hexblade cursed. I deal an additional plus five and on gain my roll fifteen hit points. Oh, if you kill it, um, plus five oh, uses. I also get to that. I get to do it.
Turn around again, plus five to the damage or push the target up to the There's an additional 3d8 from Spirit Shroud. I don't know if you can't. Yeah, like that. I can work that out. 3d8 from Spirit Shroud. What type of damage does Spirit Shroud do? You have to pick Radiant or Necrotic. You're cool. Yeah, Necrotic. And Necrotic. also Eldritch, Eldritch Smite it as well. Okay. For fun. Pretty cool. Uh, so your spirits lash out at this stone and seem to just sort of sleekly flow off of it like water. It doesn't take any damage from necrotic damage. It's completely immune to necrotic. Uh, and Eldritch... Um, oh, actually... Wait wait wait, 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 wait. I didn't actually specify which damage was, but you just assumed it was necrotic. Well, you just the damage said can either be radiant, necrotic, or... I just you, oh, you this. said before. Is uh, You asked me if it was necrotic, and I was like, I guess... Um, it's all right. We'll we'll just we'll, leave we'll it do for it now that. because we'll it does it. make much more. Yeah. I mean, radiant damage, godly damage on you doesn't seem to fit. Just um, <laughs> as a thing. Yeah. Um, however, Eldritch Smite. Unfortunately, you have no spell slots with which to cast it. You're out of fish right. levels. You're out of spell slots. You need a short rest. However, you did do a fuck ton of damage to it. So that uh, just by smacking it in the face. Which you did hit, so you should have done an extra fifteen off of that, shouldn't you? Boom. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's looking hurt. Cracks are now forming down the side of it. You can see water from the other side is starting to slosh onto the floor. You can see in the lodestone, wax women and carcass worms and other monsters far worse starting to push their way through the lodestone towards you. At uh, end of your turn, the lodestone's gonna use Another legendary action. Question. Mm -hmm. Are we allowed a health bar? Sure. Loadstone. Yeah. Why is that so low? What the fuck? Why? Why I was going to say, it's not, oh, it's not just me. It's because of the um, combat tracker. Hang on. Can't move the combat tracker, but it's because of that. I'll be alright. Uh, we're gonna just yeah. It's because of the combat tracker. It, sorry. It's my turn, right? Uh, it's your turn now. Yeah. We're just gonna do that. <sighs> Don't worry, Hey, Bob. Yeah. Every time I do the legendary action, it would take the damage as well. It does. So would it not been taken it the amount of damage it was taken? It's been it yeah. took seven damage on the last one. It has a lot of resistances, this thing. Ah, but it does take okay. the damage as well. It has been. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Jesus. For example, Josh just critted it and it took half damage. Um Did someone have an action surge? I already used it last fight. Oh yeah, you did. Any more for any more, Josh? Um, what? But, 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 but. Can I roll a nature check as a bonus? Sure. Or would that be an action? What's okay. it for? Uh, I want to. Well, would it be nature. I want to try and see how long it would take for the people inside to get to us. That would not be nature, would it? That would be investigation. Um, in this case, on Dalian law. Well, didn't you say it was one to one scale? Seems to be. Okay. Yeah. No. I'm afraid I can't tell you. You ha you are on a time limit. Can't tell you how long. Lodestone gets its legendary actions back, which basically means it now gets a pulse every turn. Say again? Uh, nothing comes through. So Lodestone gets its legendary actions back, which basically means um, it's going to be pulsating after each of your turns, because it's only got it's got three legendary actions and there's only two people. And in its turn, it releases another pulse. 
Hold a one on its, its own save. Nailed it. Ah! And in its turn, <laughs> it I... destroyed itself. <laughs> oh, sorry, it killed itself. It killed itself. It did, <laughs> it, 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 did, it, it did a Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, as it mm -hmm. dies, uh, we use its mythic action. No, 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 Bob. No, it didn't. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Which is one last pulse. As it detonates. Yes, honey. Oh. And minus this is destroyed. One. It got a minus one. It got a minus one on almost all of its saves, Khalid. Context: It has a constitution of thirty and zero in everything else. It's a rock. As it detonates and ripples out, the water in the room boils and starts to turn to green steam. Uh, Josh and Orok, what are you two doing? Um, Does the steam seem dangerous? Yes, or... it's turning into a mortis cloud. The room is right, filling I grab... with mortis. I grab John. What are you doing? Charles, you there? Um, I just use my, my. I just. Um, I, wait, I've got no spell slots left, do I? Nope. I just use my magical mask then to teleport out of the room. The helm of teleportation. I just, I just, just, no, just, no, just. No, there's this portal right here. No, just jump through the portal. Well, just, I'm just, I'm just jumping through the portal. portal. Portals no, he's out of the room. Right. Uh, 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 people use dimension door instead of using portals. <laughs> uh, to be fair, dimension door was safer. Yeah. I mean, with the with phase one, it's because it took Hakeem with him. Yeah. But I, I'm just jumping. Through, I'm, I'm just jumping through the portal and dipping. Smells like it's gonna need more legendary actions. As you right, guys yeah. erupt back. Into the main room, how dog's dead. Um, coughing and spluttering on the ground, your bones feeling like they're about to tear themselves apart. But beneath you, as this temple starts to shudder and break, we're gonna actually sort of come out of the map here. We're into sort of just theatre of the mind, if that, you know, that makes sense. Um, you feel the floor beneath you is starting to give way. What are we doing? I looked at one. Run! I just got out of the church. Yep. You all start... I mean, honestly, athletics checks. It's going to be a low DC, but don't roll below a five. If you could do... I put on, uh, could I put a portal outside so we can always jump through the portal instead? Um, I'd need to do initiative for that. Roll me athletics first. If anyone fails, you'll do an opposed dex to see if you, like, catch them with a portal. Alright. I don't think it's worth it on uh, a five. Fuck. Yeah, but I have a minus two to my, you know... Uh, uh yeah, I get a zero. That's <laughs> <laughs> my minus two. Can I use my grappling hook? I have do? no strength. <laughs> uh, make an attack or kill him. Uh, dex. It's ability check. Please check. Uh, Bob, can I? I... I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot at um, yeah, Wobby. Eighteen hits. And get what? Um, pull one, oh, sorry, Wobby in and carry. I'm gonna carry Wobby. So oh, as you guys what? sprint forwards, the whole temple, this whole mountainside, starts to collapse, rotting away in seconds, like echo echoes of decades of erosion taking place. The whole temple starts to sunder and break. As you guys race down the mountainside, it's like cheese, you know, cheese wheel racing or whatever they call it, you know, wagon racing. There's no stopping, there's no slowing down. You are full pelt pacing it down the side of this uh, sort of mountain towards the city of Arch, which glistens in the distance, to twinkling lights in the night sky. Storm slips, trips, and as she falls, the mountain decays and gives way below her until. <laughs> A wire wrapped around her, and Hakeem pulls her forwards with the with the Batman gauntlet. She tackle, hit, 
scroll, and as a party, you slam into the bottom of the mountainside. Can I be carrying my doggo for this? Doggo is already there waiting for you. <laughs> Licks your face. <laughs> as you sort of turn and look back up at the mountain, there is a beam of green light in the night sky. And as you look up, I've referenced a few times in this campaign that we are in Galland, the Arctic North, and that we are beneath the Aurora Borealis here in Mensolum. No one actually ever asked me how come Mensolum has gravity or the Aurora Borealis when there's no such thing as magnetism here. And that beam of light that strikes the sky, the Aurora Borealis is sure looking like a giant lobster right now. Um, guys? Almost as if a monster bigger than the world is trying to break into reality made of glowing green light. Bob is currently saying that the Aurora Borealis is just a lobster. <laughs> are, are we gonna get? Are we just gonna get blue lobster? Put tin hat on. <laughs> no, Can I make Bob a request? Bob is saying that the Aurora Borealis is the influence of the lurker. Can I ask if I can take some of the Aurora Borealis and to make lobster rolls? <laughs> I'm taking a massive guess. Are these? Do we just release them? A part of the lurker here. I don't um, think make an we... insight check, Clay. One actually does sound like a good idea. I wouldn't say we released it. You can work it out if you want, but it's nice. What's that? Twenty-three. Quite the opposite. Where that green say... beacon has struck into the sky, you can see the night sky through the aurora borealis. Breaking the Logic was, stone has denied an entrance to this world. Logic was, if they're, sh if they're like setting up on top of the lodestones, and if breaking it would help him, why wouldn't they just break it themselves? Good point. As you recover yourself, you are still in the mountains of El uh, near sort of Elos Pass, up near Arch. Correctly, let me check the map. I need to load the map up anyway. Um, just, I'm gonna just... ask Lee. Lee? Mm hmm. You were a soldier of this land run once, right? Eh. Doesn't matter what. Yeah, you sure. Take this time. Can I yeah. take this time to ask my patron um, what killing that thing gets me? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we'll come back to that, Charles. Just let Colleen finish. His oh, just thing. just quickly, Charles. Can I make a request? Yes, Charles. Can you not use the mask of teleportation that could send us anywhere in the world to move approximately thirty-three across the floor? <laughs> Sorry, I'm struggling to hear you. you single Basically, the mask of teleportation you've got, Charles. If it goes wrong, it randomly teleports you somewhere in the world. So he was okay. like, please don't oh. use it just to move 30 that, feet. That, that mask got us from one side of the country to the other last session. This session, you tried to use it to get us from one side of a room to the other side of the room where there was a portal to get us out of the room in front of us. On the upside, the more familiar you are with the location, the easier it is. So... <laughs> his, yeah, power power his power man. <laughs> well, to be yeah. fair, you don't know where it is. It was my plan to just teleport away <laughs> And then just live out the rest of my days in the woods. Fair, fair. The woods of Sholak. <laughs> However, you started that Shol sentence with, I grab Lee, meaning you didn't just go on your own. You were going with me. So, um, um, Killian, what were you saying? I was a friend. <laughs> Lee? Mm -hmm. You were one soldier of these lands. I don't, ma don't really mind which side. You must know that there must be a, like a location where we can just rest up a, like a secret sniper spot or a scouting hut or something is this like the stashes you asked me to roll about in in the discord channel and bob didn't give us an answer to bob didn't give yes. an answer. that's fair uh, uh, <laughs> do you want me to roll again or do you want to go off that old roll what was the old roll the old roll was a 
I mean, you, I didn't actually roll it because I didn't know if it was passive or not because we don't roll know what Colleen me, wanted. Just roll me a history check and I'll give you some info that will also be relevant to the situation. But, uh, season 2, Lee Dolores, history, normal. I really not twenty to go. God's sake! I got twenty eight. <laughs> Safe zones and caches are a weird thing in Gallant. There are many, certainly, but Gallant's an old nation, very old. It was the furthest reaches of the Asolian Empire. And after the Asolian Civil War, you had Galland, Sir Galad himself, came here and settled it. And then his three descendants broke the nations up into the four nations that are here today. So safe zone's a weird sort of term because everywhere has become something of a safe zone. But originally, there were a lot of travellers who came to Galland, the Searborn Iconocracy. And the safest places in Galland... They built six temples to the sort of patrons of the nation. There was, of course, then a seventh temple created as a peace offering between Greater Asolus and Galland, but much later. These temples would act as safe spots and places where travellers could easily traverse the nation by a teleportation circle. Between that history check from you, Josh, and Killeen's one earlier to remember everything he saw in the realm of the Lurker, I'ma simply tell you what the fuck's going on here. One second, honey, we're nearly done with this. Okay. You. There are seven shrines to the great heroes of the Asolian Empire. Upon each, a castle was built. A chateau. And then, of course, some of the chateaus became capitals, the families that bought them for their wealth, the travellers. There were once six families in Galland. Now there are, of course, a few, but the Galdirs still remain. Six made for Galland, one made as a peace offering. Lodestones that simply allow you to pass through the fabric of reality. Helene, I will reveal on the map where the first one is, because you guys are on it. Move your token for a second. The Shrine of the Empress Nox has been defeated, as you can. You guys already know where another one is. The Shrine of Lord Tywern is in Chateau Ufgard, which once belonged to the House of the Manticore. Can I pan out here? What, was this one used to be the Stragerson one? Yep. But then, of course, you have to think... Oh, sorry, Kaiser Shen, not Manticore. Kaiser Shen. Chateau Ufgard used to belong to Kaiser Shen. Chateau Dominata. And then you think, Kaleem... And you piece together where the other one might be. I will reward clever thinking. Oh, I did tell you there was a reason Chateau Domitar was weirdly defended during the war with Marcus Phoenician. I knew there was something on about it. As you remember there, there is the shrine of Annette Solus, the founder of the Isolian Empire. Shit. And going oh. by triangulation, there's definitely one in the capital of the Manticore. The Shrine of Linda Asolus. Was there a Salvation? It was. Not in Salvation. Oh. But Lee, I, so. your brain raises Harmonium, Temples of Harmonium, but it's destroyed, it's old. Salvation was the home of Displacer, not the original family. It was a sanctum. Sanctum, sanctum of, of Illumination. I could get it to reveal itself. Sign of the star Starlight Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Great heroes of the Asolian Empire. Um. And right. then last but not least, you turn, Kaleem, and you look across the landscape of Galland. 
there is only one place where a final and perhaps most powerful shrine, the biggest lodestone to allow people to reach the most important place in the nation. The ultimate place to create a breach in reality would of course be the capital and the shrine of Sir Galad himself. Is there a reason the name for the one on Dumbatar isn't showing? Uh, yeah, I haven't set it to Dumbatar. It's the shrine of Ineta Solus, the lady who founded Solia. I was really away for what all these to be just being I... Tall Hill. <laughs> no, I... but you would remember, of course, if I scroll out here, I did reference, of course, that the Domac had fucked with it. And, of course, you met a certain familiar there. But if you would care to cast your eyes towards the Oculus Tower, the seventh shrine was a gift between nations. And that's where you will find the shrine of Ico Lemura. But, of course, that now lies in, lies in ruins within the city of Oculus. Which is destroyed? Well, you guys reactivated it when you got to Gallon, didn't you? It's almost as if Yggdrasil had a bit of a plan. I look at Leem. And I've had these tokens on the map the entire time, motherfuckers. <laughs> I look at Leem like... Ah, uh, fuck. I mean, that would be an understatement. And yeah. with Hakeem turning to the camera and going, what a palaver! That's where we'll pick up next week. <laughs> I think would be a good place to end it. Can we, but as we end, can we get, can we have a little bit of need help? <laughs> you want help? The, Take a rest. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, That's up to you way, guys, um, we'll discuss it next week. <laughs> but, also, but wait, that didn't answer the question. Where's the stashes? <laughs> the stash! We need that. Anything <laughs> that, that needed storing or anything like that will be in the major cities or the shrines. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I mean, come on, you wouldn't just randomly have stashes unless it was military, and in which case you wouldn't know where it is. Fuck! <laughs> uh, I mean, I might know where the old ones are, but I highly doubt they're going to yeah, help exactly. us. Exactly, and it's been a year since then. And Damn, pretty much no. all of Marcus Phoenician's forces made base in the Sanctum of Illumination, in the Shrine of the Starlight Man, as you guys would recognise him. Please look at that token, I'm so happy with it. A proper statue of him. So good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I will end the stream there. Very good shit. Oh, what happened to... Um, what happened to... Aura?